Hello, it's Sweet Science Wednesday, and today we are going to learn about strawberry DNA extraction. You know, when you think about strawberry DNA extraction, you think about the photo um, that's next to Sweet Science Wednesday. Strawberries, whether you realize it or not, have eight copies of each chromosome. That is, they are octoploids, so that's a lot of DNA to isolate. And remember, octo means eight. So we've got a few supplies here. We've got strawberries, we've got dish soap, we have uh, salt and some water. But let me slip away right quick because I forgot the refrigerated alcohol. Be right back. And it has to be refrigerated and you'll understand why a little bit later. So I've already got the, what we have to do is we have to take two strawberries. And in order to prepare them, we have to take the green leaves off. And from there, we take them and we put them in a plastic Ziploc bag. Make sure you get the freezer bags because sometimes the little sandwich bags, uh, they don't hold up. Because you're gonna have to really mash them flat um, for this project. So you wanna try to make sure you don't have a lot of air in there because your bag can bust, even the freezer bag. But you mash it. And from there, once you get it all mashed up, you take it and you take two teaspoons of the salt, the water, and the soap mixture and make sure when you're mixing this in, try not to make it where it's sudsy. And once we get it all mixed in, then we'll strain it. So, I'm gonna try to make sure it's all good and thoroughly mixed because like I said, you have to strain this mixture. Looks like a hot mess right now, but and always make sure to get your parents' permission. And this is really, really neat. I'll take and we're gonna pour it, strain it. We have a coffee filter we're using. Pour this all up. And then we're just gonna take it and squeeze it gently. Get all that liquid out into the cup. Okay, once we do that, then we're gonna take and we're gonna pour it into our test tube. And however much um, that you have from the strawberry mixture, you're gonna take and put about that much in the alcohol, it's isophil alcohol. And you're gonna begin to see it's kinda extracting. If you'll look at this, you'll see there, it's fuller at the bottom with the red and it's clearer up top. But you can see there's like little bubbles forming. Well, believe it or not, this is the DNA that is extracting from the strawberry liquid. So I'm going to show you this one that was done earlier. And I'm going to drop it in here. So that's from earlier. And I'm going to take this and you can tell it's a blob. That is strawberry DNA right there. There's still a little bit, but not much. So see, it doesn't take a whole lot to do, but the matter of the fact is um, when you do this, it's, it's a lot of fun. And the, the thing you need to remember is I always have parents permission and um, take your time to do this because it can be a lot of fun. And just a few notes about um, DNA. 
It's a molecule in the form of a double helix. That is two spirals twisting around each other. The spirals are the backbone of the DNA. And D what does DNA do? It's a genetic instruction manual for making an organism. All processes in the body are controlled by DNA and a gene is a sequence of DNA. And whether you realize it or not, there are genes in common. You can, though we don't look much like a worm or a fly, Fruit flies have 36% uh, DNA we share with other living things. Zebrafish, 85%. Bacteria, 7%. Mustard grass, 15 And roundworms, 21 How interesting is that? I mean, to share DNA with other critters or creatures. And so the reason we use the dishwashing liquid is so that it would open the cells of the strawberries and release the DNA and the salt was so it ensured the proteins of the cells of the strawberries uh, were not separated from the rest of the solution in the DNA. And then of course, you know, the alcohol, um, this is when the molecules are not able to dissolve. They clump together and become visible like I was showing earlier in the video. So it's, and it can be seen by the naked eye. A lot of times DNA you can't see with the naked eye, but with the strawberries you can. So remember, get your parents permission because you're using um, alcohol, dishwashing, uh, liquid, salt, water, of course, strawberries. And strawberries are very nutritious for you as well. So take the time, eat some strawberries, do some experiments, but have fun. This is Deborah Cox, Mitchell County 4-H educator for Sweet Science Wednesday. Come back and join us again next week. Bye-bye.